Grief surrounds the LGBTQT2 plus community through no fault of their own. And this grief lies in the world's difficulty in recognizing that love is love. So during Pride Month as a grief advocate, I needed to address this. My name is Joe McRogers and I have supported grief in my private therapy practice for years. And while I celebrate Pride Month, I also wanted to explore and explain some of the grief in the gay community. If you aren't an ally of the gay community, then I especially want you to hear this message. And for those of you who are not living your lives as you know who you are, because it isn't safe, either physically, legally, or emotionally, please know that this is a living grief experience. Grief is an intrinsic part of being human, and in recent years, there has been a slow growing recognition of the unique challenge faced by the LGBTQ community when it comes to grief and loss. Grief is inevitable. Everyone will experience the death of someone that they love. Family, friends, pets, colleagues, idols. This is sadly part of life. However, some sources of grief are manufactured through bias, prejudice, and limiting beliefs. Coming out in the gay community can be a deeply personal and transformative experience. While embracing their authentic selves, individuals coming out may also mourn the loss of relationships, acceptance, or the visions of the life that they imagined. While coming out may be liberating, grief becomes a part of the coming out process unnecessarily. Grief is a complex emotion and when combined with the stigma and discrimination still prevalent in society, it can become even more challenging. Just recently, Uganda has declared being gay as a crime punishable by life imprisonment. And in some circumstances, it calls for a death penalty. My local Catholic school board has refused to raise the pride flag. Imagine fearing life and love simply from being who you are. The LGBTQ plus community often faces additional hurdles when dealing with their own loss. They may encounter insensitivity or exclusion from unsupportive family members, from friends, from religious communities, and from employers. This results in what's called disenfranchised grief. Disenfranchised grief refers to the feelings of loss that are not openly acknowledged or socially recognized or supported. Within the gay community, this type of grief can arise due to societal prejudices and misconceptions. Grief related to the loss of a same-sex partner, chosen family, or friends may not receive the same validation or support as the grief of a traditional relationship. LGBTQT plus individuals are often being excluded from their loved one's funeral when a family doesn't accept the person for who they are. People are being buried in the wrong clothes because families don't accept how an individual identifies. People are not telling their employer or their colleagues that their partner may have died out of fear of exposure. In the face of loss, the LGBTQ community has a long history of honoring and remembering loved ones. LGBTQ activists, allies, and advocates work tirelessly to ensure that the lives of those lost to hate crimes, to HIV, AIDS, and other tragedies are not forgotten. Pride events, memorials, and awareness campaigns have become platforms for celebrating the lives and legacies of individuals who have passed away, fighting for these rights. This reminds the community that their memories live on and that we are working towards a love is love society. A ridiculous question that I often hear is, when is the straight Pride Month happening? Well, my response is, have you ever had your life threatened because you are a heterosexual? Pride Month, Pride Parades, and Pride Advocacy 
is still needed, sadly. As a grief advocate, what angers me is that all of this is so fixable. For those not accepting someone as they are, you are manufacturing grief. But the difference is that you could end this grief. You have the power to end this grief, and that is a mighty power. Please use it. If you are struggling to accept and love someone for who they are, please seek support and education. Don't let fear limit your ability to love and live. If you are someone who is struggling to live and love as who you are, Please seek support and safety if it's accessible to you. I see you and I support you. I want to conclude with my belief that love is love. I ask you to leave any thoughts that promote love in the comments below, but know that any comments that promote grief will be deleted. Please do what you can to reduce the sense of loss in our lives please fill that space with love. And for all celebrating Pride Month, I send you kind thoughts, kind words, and a kind heart.